Okay, I'm at Minnesota Teardrop Trailers. Uh, I'm going to interview Bert Taylor. Bert, how you doing? Hi. Co Cosmo Weems here. <laughs> uh, so this is your personal trailer. This is my personal one. Yep. Very nice. And uh, what you know? Tell me a little bit about it. Show what what do you have? How does the kitchen work? Well, the first thing I want to say is this is the first this is the first tra co uh, color trailer that we produce. Are you getting a lot of calls yeah, for color trailers? A lot, of, a lot of response, a lot of positive response. This has the red side and the black accent strip and a white top. Uh-huh. And um, Very nice. And I noticed uh, compared to mine, you have the, uh, the high gloss uh, ring. Is that this, aluminum or stainless? This, this actually happens to be polished aluminum, uh -huh. um, although now we're using uh, polished stainless on the, uh, the porthole wow. uh, trim and the, the window trim. Uh-huh. And uh, just uh, kind of, you know, shines it up a bit. Wow, yeah. And this is a, a bug light? Is that what this is? That's a porch light. Porch um, light. I call it a, a biffy light. <laughs> okay. But, um, and, and I guess it's to reduce bugs, right? You can the amber um, um, lens or the clear lens. Mm -hmm. LEDs. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, I'm not sure if this is on yours, but the, this is how our windows work now with this little mechanism like this. Yes, I have the same windows. Yeah. with a little... Uh, um, nest here and, and uh, the door table. Very nice. We actually altered these door tables now so that there's a, a little catch underneath here where this this will this catch. Uh, uh -huh. Not on this one, but yeah. On, okay. On the newer one. Okay, I see a few changes from my kitchen. I had a slide-out stove. Let's. Uh, this is the glass top stove, right? Right. So we used to have the pull out. Uh, the pull-out uh, stove that was uh, over here on the, in the drawer unit, mm -hmm. um, and we decided to um, to use a more uh, advanced stove. Actually, it's an easier to clean. Whose stove is that? This is the uh, Dometic. Uh, they bought uh, Smev, mm -hmm. and uh, and now they're selling them domestically here in the United States. Um, and it's ni what's nice about this is that it has the um, uh, self starter. Um, uh, okay. Right there. Hazoelectric. Yeah. Yep. And um, it's just a, it's just a it's got a better spring in here. It doesn't take quite so much room in the cabinet. Yeah. And um, and you can use this as a work surface. Yeah. You can, yeah you can. Um, although I use a, if I put a little uh, uh, mat over it or something. Mat. Yeah. yeah. But it is big enough for uh, I think this is probably a 12 inch skillet mm -hmm. and this is I think a uh, eight or ten. Eight well, and that's one of the things I'm here to get. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm here to get that. That way I have uh, better working space. And this is the new configuration of the, uh, of the, uh, of the uh, silverware drawer. Right. Okay. It, and uh, we, we've altered this whole cabinet here so that um, we have more um, counter space. Because, I see. Uh, by, by moving the stove to here with the old cabinet, we took up all this space. And so by doing this and making this uh, configuration, we've uh, gained more uh, counter space, but we've also made better use yeah. of this whole um, this whole area here with the breadboard and the drawers and, and whatnot. Yeah, on mine, I actually had to think a little when we were going to cook. Like, what do I need to get out of the bottom? You know, and now now it's accessible when you're right. cooking. Right, and then you had uh, hose management issues and, and things <laughs> yes, like that. Yes, hose management so this issues. Is much more straightforward. <laughs> And easy, easy to use. Oh, it was hell out there. Hose management was terrible. Okay, great. And now you've got this. Now uh, we've got this pull-out. Wow, very nice. Yeah. Uh, this is the largest cooler we found that we can put in here. This is a 45 uh, a Yeti. Okay, let's have a look inside there. Sure. This is a, a little uh, experiment that I, I found works quite well. <laughs> These are little uh, golf ball, wiffle balls, and then this is just a grill you can get at any hardware store. So that keeps it out of the water? And uh, keeps when you put the ice in there, when it melts, the water stays below the grill, uh -huh. so if, all your stuff doesn't get you know, soggy. So you have to ask for the vestibule wiffle ball option? Is to, <laughs> I don't that's sell that, but you should right. probably jerry rig that yourself. Yeah, well, they're, they're 29 cents if you buy them in the store, but they're a dollar if you buy them here. <laughs> right. <laughs> Very good. Okay. And then you just, uh, if you just drain, you know, pull this over a bit yeah. and drain it every day. Uh, just keep that, that sloshing out of there. How much weight can that uh, drawer handle? Uh, these are 150-pound um, uh, drawer slides. So okay. Okay. So they'll handle a refrigerator too, right? Right. And that is one of the options, a refrigerator? Yeah, you can put the uh, Dometic uh, 
refrigerator, which is actually a freezer refrigerator. Yeah. And it's a 110 um, or 12 volt system. On this side here, you've got uh, very similar to mine, uh, just slightly different. I think my, mine's fine the way it is. You yeah, we have this new feature now with tape uh, dispenser. Is that du it? duct tape? Duct tape. <laughs> and uh, a, a paper towel. Uh huh. Very good. Very good. And down here, you've got some glasses and things. Uh, and then up yeah. here, and then this is my little coffee pot. Frappuccino here. machine. Like yeah. yeah. Okay. Very good. So a lot of this is the same basic core, but you've made refinements. We've got the this little. Uh, Breadboard that's, uh -huh. uh, that's cut to make to fit right in, in into the section here. Very nice. Uh, uh, the uh, in here, behind here, we've got a um, on the a new water pump. A new yeah. water pump. It's very very nice pump. Very quiet. Quiet. Yeah. A filter water pump. Uh huh. A dial for nice. city water. Yes. Or uh, or uh, your nine gallon um, fresh water tank. Very good. Very good. Very nice. Uh, and let's see, uh, well, what is this vent here? That's uh, for the air conditioner. Air conditioner, okay. So this You're in Minnesota, right? I thought you'd have a heater. Mm -hmm. I... <laughs> when I went out east uh, yeah. a few weeks ago, it was like the hottest part of the summer. Yeah. And uh, I was just miserable if I couldn't plug in. Yeah. Um, although I did a couple nights I couldn't plug in. And then I just used the fan, the 10 speed fan up here. So this is your personal trailer, right? Right. Very nice. Okay, so let's let's see what you've got here. Okay. Uh, um, okay, so you've got the plastic. Well, go ahead to hop in. All you right. can. Uh, okay. Well, this is a new feature. This is uh, just keeps the uh, the sliding doors from from vibrating uh, closed when you're traveling. So oh, that's a must-have. I gotta to have see that. Out yeah. The back. Yeah, I'm using chopsticks right now, but that's a big improvement over the chopsticks you gave me. Well, I'm just kidding. That's see? <laughs> very nice. Okay, you got the hook. You're innovating. <laughs> yes. Um, I'm going to turn this down into a bed in a second, and okay. you'll see some other features. Yeah. Um, this is our anti-sag device. Very nice. The new uh, thing. Um, this keeps the shade from, from sagging, and it stores right down in here. Very nice. Oh. Very good. I have had a little sag. I mean, it's just fine, but I, that's a very nice thing. It'll give you even more space on the inside. This one has these little lights. I don't know if yours has that. But. No, no. Uh, so. I'm pretty good on lighting. I'm set. You yeah. See? yeah. <laughs> the, the, you've got the um, um, air ports. Ven ventilation ports. Yeah. Those are great. I use those all the time. I love them. I turn the fan on and I get flow through ventilation. It controls moisture. It helps quite a bit. Now this is something new with our, our bins in the front. There's wow. a lot of space underneath the deck there that uh, seems to be a shame great. to uh, to be wasting. So that's a very nice feature. I may uh, talk to you about getting that before I leave here. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Very nice. You got two big bins there, which is a great place for storage. Plus you've got the uh, the underfloor bins. Right. And, and then and now we're using nylon uh, slides here, which the whole sofa mechanism slides on. Friction you don't free. Have to wax the uh, the yeah, slides. Yeah, I'm still waxing mine. Okay. Uh, the table the table uh, is uh, laminated the same color as the laminate in the back. Mm -hmm. So if you if you get a custom laminate, we uh -huh. uh, usually put uh, the laminate here too. Very nice. Very retro. 1950s. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh, um, this one has the the. Uh, dome lights and the reading lights. Yeah, the reading lights are great. I love them. Yep. And, and the, you know, the, the regular lights. But it also lights. has, this is, I don't know, this is my favorite feature. Yeah. Which is the, um, wow. Um, mood lighting. Mood lighting. And yeah. you can uh, dial this in to whatever color you want. Disco, yeah. Um, but at, at night, sometimes I'll, I'll dial it to red because I want to keep my night vision because mm -hmm. I'm looking at the stars or whatever. Um, and what is that? Is that to tape lighting? Cy cycle or? through the uh, through the lights. Is that the uh, the LED tape? Is that what kind of lighting it it's is, or is it LED? Yeah, a little kind of plastic. It's not tape. Tube. It's, uh, four sec sections of uh, of LED, and um, very nice. You know, this is pretty. This is pretty bright when you're winding down at night. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you want to, uh, you know, you want to be mellow, so turn <laughs> that up, and you've got plenty of light here to see your wine glass. Very romantic, and, yeah. Uh, and put your stuff away when you're getting ready for bed. <laughs> Very good. Very nice. And have any changes been made in the rear cabinet? You know, the bottom, the interior headboard cabinet? Well, let's, uh, let's, uh, I'll turn this down into a bed, and then we'll show you the, uh, the features in the headboard. Okay, great. Fair enough.
you come around the other side, you know. You've got the bungee strap, don't you? Yes, I do. Yes. Oh, wow. So here we've got, uh, we used, originally we had sliding doors behind here. Yeah. But as soon as we put an air conditioner in, mm -hmm. uh, we couldn't have sliding doors. So we've gone to, to, you know, regular doors. Now I have sliding doors on mine, and I, you know, I, I prefer them because I, very nice, got this mm -hmm. space there. This one has an air conditioner, mm -hmm. and it has a furnace actually, as well. The furnace sits underneath here, and the heat comes out these holes here. A propane furnace? Propane furnace, and this is the, the thermostat for that. Wow, it's electric. Uh, the furnace is, works off of the battery. Yeah. The air conditioner works up 110. You have to be plugged in to use that. So you can't at your campsite. You have to be able to plug into an outlet. Sure. It, does the furnace require a fan? It says it have a fan built in. It, it has a fan. Uh, 12 volt. 12 volt. Yeah. Very nice. That's very interesting. And. Uh, Interior lighting, that's nice. This is uh, now we put uh, all of our uh, electrical under here. Okay. This is kind of an experimental electrical where we're using um, an unusual, um, uh, more advanced uh, type mm -hmm. of electrical system here. We haven't used this in any other trailers yet. Mm -hmm. We're still trying to still get testing. Uh, yeah. fluent on that. Yeah, good. Um, charger, we're using a larger charger now. This is the smaller one. We've got an, a larger one that. that that will charge your battery quicker. Yeah, I have. I, I replaced mine with a six amp charger, which works out great. It's yeah, a, same thing. We're same thing now. Are, are seven and a half. Amp. Oh wow. Okay. And you have a larger battery now. Mine came with a fifty-five amp hour battery, and because I'm planning on going to a refrigerator, which is kind of the modification you're doing for me. That's why I'm here. Um, you're going to put in a larger battery. Uh, what battery are you using now? Uh, normally, you, you'll use a fifty-five amp AGM battery. Mm -hmm. And uh, but if you're going to be using an air conditioner, uh, not I'm sorry, not air conditioner, refrigerator, uh, or the the Dometic cooler, you want to have um, a more robust electrical system. So you need the larger battery, which is 115 amp mm -hmm. uh, AGM. And because AGM is meant to be in uh, bouncy areas and it, it doesn't off gas any you position, it yeah. upside down, sideways on its yeah. side, any way you want. So. We can put that in our um, um, in the cabin here oh, in, a, wow. in a bin under here. This is new. So this in wow, this, you in have this case, you have in two. In this case, I have two smaller. Is batteries. that like a benefit of owning the company? Or is <laughs> <laughs> Actually, uh, you know the the newer one, the larger battery uh, is one fifteen, which mm -hmm. is larger than mm. these. Only uh, add up to one ten. Yeah. And so the, the, the newer battery is smaller, goes in a smaller bin. Mm -hmm. So you can either have a smaller battery or the larger battery. And um, it just, you know, fits in there nicely. It's good. Easy good. access. And, uh, so the 55 amp hour was more than enough for what I did with it up until now, because now I wanted to go to the refrigerator. I'm tired of ice, and I thought that I was going to go that route. So that's kind of why I'm here to get that uh, put in. And this is new also, these... Uh, these uh, we got... Uh, a, a handrail, yeah. for the privacy uh, screen. It's also a handrail for when those mood lights get going, in case oh, something wild's yeah. going on in here. That's again to put ropes on them or something. Yeah. How many nights have you camped out in this? Uh, Not nearly enough. But so we're we're planning um, like a two-month trip out west nice. and, and uh, the southeast, the northeast, uh, and Canada up in British Columbia. So. And it'll be in this trailer. It'll be either in this one or in our hundredth trailer, which will be a blue trailer. Okay. And it'll have even, you know, it'll have the latest of the latest. Excellent. Let's look at the uh, the front, the uh, the tongue box. Okay. Box, the external tongue box. So. Uh, right. you, you know, you have a lot of stuff that you you don't want to put in your car, and you don't want yep. to put in your trailer, and this is just a good place to put it. Mm-hmm. Um, I just have a couple of sleeping bags, extension cord, and my wheel chocks. Sure. There, but, uh, um, yeah, I mean, it's a small trailer, and you need, you know, you need, you need space, you know. And it's waterproof? solution. Waterproof, right? Okay. Highway speed waterproof? Uh, you know what? I, I, I've never had water in here. It's got a lip along here, so water would really have to be in the city yeah. to be able to get up and around. 
you Very might nice. have to be going. Good. This one happens to have a, a an aluminum frame. Uh, we haven't resolved our aluminum frame yet. We're still looking for a fabricator to, mm -hmm. to make them at a reasonable price. Prototype. But, but we're yeah. getting uh, the, the engineering is, is, is getting resolved. And we're excited about that. Good, good. Uh, uh, the, the tongue, the tongue, um, the wheel jack here is something uh, new. It's um, an eight inch wheel and wow. uh, the capacity is, uh, is much more than is necessary for this trailer. But uh, we felt that the, just the look of it seemed to be the right scale for the, the way the trailer looks. Yeah. It also has a little brake right here, which is which comes in handy. Yeah, yeah. If you don't get those wheel chocks out there quick mm -hmm. enough, that's the emergency brake thing. That's a right. good idea. Yeah. Very nice. And then it's got the little 11 uh, pound uh, propane tank. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, which I, I don't know how many times have you had to. I've had about 45 nights, and I have not filled a tank once. <laughs> uh, you know, and that's I'm, a summer for we did dine out a little bit, yeah, but that's I could probably you know get fifty nights out of it or so. I, you, I don't know. You cook regularly. Every we do three meals a day, maybe. Two meals we a day. cook uh, breakfast and dinner, uh, but we do dine out now and then too. So it's uh, you know we are having fun. Uh, so it's uh, it's worked out good. And well, of course, the way you tell how full it is, uh, you can either take it off and weigh it. Or I use the poor man's method. I pour hot water on the on the exterior, and then you feel where it's cool because the liquid propane will not heat up as quick as the empty part of it. And you can, if you run your hand down, you can get an idea of where it is the, oh, the, the propane. Yep. So also some other things that uh, there's a magnetic sensor that will go on the bottom, and you can look at your phone, and your app for it, and it'll oh, no. do a ping <laughs> and tell you how, how cool a it is. A sonar ping? Right, and then oh. there's a, a pen that uh, you put up against here, and it'll. You just kind of go like this until it set, it goes red or something. Okay, it's cool. A, it's a simple, uh, simple way to, to, to do that, but I like your method. Yeah, it's simple. It's analog. Very good. This is a, just a, a little, nice little feature here. It just keeps your plug out of the wet grass. Now, these are optional? I mean, like, you right? Know, it, that's standard. Standard, okay. So we'll good. put that on your trailer. All right, great. Okay, thank you. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. And uh, how is production going here? I mean, you've got quite a setup here. You've got one, two, three, four, five, five going. Your, your, your shop is enormous so we, compared uh, to... Just a few days ago, we had eight in here. Wow. And what we're doing now is trying to do eight a month. Mm -hmm. uh, the finishing, uh, this, we call it the season of minutia, uh -huh. which is all the millions of things you have to do to finish the trailer. Uh, that happens on this side of the wall. Over there, we put um, we put the axles on the on the uh, frames, mm -hmm. and then we put the guts. I'll show you the guts. Uh, yeah, in a yeah, second this, is, here, yeah. But, uh, this part, the shop is how many and times? All the noisy stuff happens on that side. Yeah. The shop is how many times bigger than the first shop that I stopped in at? It's probably twenty times uh, bigger. Well, easy. Well, the first the first shop was my garage. Oh, all right. The Which second shop. Like Eight hundred feet. Yeah. Then the second one was about 3,800 feet. Uh -huh. then, we, then we moved here, which was uh, 6,000 feet. And then just two months ago, we moved, we took uh, on this space, which is another 10,000. So we're at 16,000 feet. Is it a coincidence there's a brewery in the same building that you're in? Was that by design yeah. or just an accident? <laughs> and what are these jugs over here? What is this? That's some wine. We, this uh, is the creativity department? I have a vineyard, uh, one, one acre of uh, grapes. Uh huh. And, uh, we didn't have enough grapes to sell to the local winery, so we had to yeah. make our own wine. Okay. okay. So we'll see, how, we'll see how this tastes. Maybe, hopefully it'll be good enough for, for, uh, to drink, otherwise we'll give it away as gifts. <laughs> okay, great. Great. So this is the production here. I've never so, seen this. Yeah. So you, you can, over here you can see the frames and the actions. That, those, the frame them. is much beefier than I remember. It's, a, it's pretty it's as minimal as I can imagine it being and still be strong. And your Dexter axles, right? This is a Dexter uh, torsion axle. Dexter torsion axle, and you still use the, uh, here it is, okay, great. This is the, uh, the, um, the lube system, easy lube. You pop this rubber divot out, and there's a cork, and there's a zerk there, or a grease nipple. You just shoot in the grease, and it backflows. You can see, the first time I greased mine, it took almost a whole tube of grease to fill this up, and then it started coming out. And now, when I put in a few pumps, out it flushes out the grease. And the wheels, same wheels, very nice. Okay, that's a great feature. That's really wonderful. That's an immersion axle, right? That's for boats. Um, you can immerse it. That's I think that's why they had the grease thing. But anyway, I don't know. I don't know. 
Okay. Um, the, this is the steel frame uh, with a uh, powder coat on it. Okay, great. Um, great. This, this frame just this this frame weighs about 220 pounds. Mm -hmm. Over here is a, is a, a, pr a prototype aluminum frame. It weighs 100 pounds less than, than this. Yeah, frame. weight is everything, right? It's, uh... so, and uh, that, of course, we wouldn't be uh, powder coating. So we're trying to, we're trying to, ideally, we're getting close to the same price for the aluminum. So this is a future trailer right there? What's that? That aluminum, is that a future trailer? That's the side of a future trailer. Let's see what color it is. This is the back side of it. Okay. Uh, this is a, a red trailer. A red? Okay. Yeah. What is that? Is that powder coat? Is that what it is? Or uh... This is a yellow, I think. Yeah, there's yellow. Wow. So what portion of trailers are colored now that people order? I mean, you know, out of... Uh... Wow. Cool. Uh, we've done, people really like, we've got two colors of green. One's kind of a dark green, like a English racing green. Yeah. And then the other one's more of a sage green. Uh-huh. A light green. And people seem to really like those two greens. Um, now, I don't like, see, I don't see woodworking equipment, Bert. How does the wood get to you? Well, we, we have it uh, laser cut, I'm sorry, uh, CNC'd by a, a, a friend of mine who, mm -hmm. who lives... 45 minutes away in his shop and that comes to us it actually it goes from his shop to the finishers mm -hmm. and then the finishers uh, do all that uh, waterborne finish mm -hmm. that they put on it which is an exterior grade finish they, they put a coat uh, they coat everything whether it's seen or not seen so all the mm -hmm. interior parts are also coated then that comes to us then we start assembling okay and the first thing we assemble are these what we call the guts okay and this is the headboard. Um, is this is this a future design? <laughs> that's, that's not a piece of okay. <laughs> okay. So uh, this is the guts. It's uh, the main counter, the pass through, the headboard. Uh, so somebody who ordered a trailer, they're going to get this. Uh, this is somebody's order. Whoever ordered this trailer, these people with are this getting a custom laminate. Custom laminate. Okay, 1950s retro. So here it is. It's in the works. Okay. And and so what we do, what we can do here before we put the sides on, and mm -hmm. before we put this on the trailer, we can do all this wiring. Yeah. Uh, a lot of wiring that has to be done here. And if you look over here, uh, we can access all of this this uh, area for wiring. Uh huh. Before we get too cramped to really yeah. do a, a, an efficient job. Yeah. Yeah. You're free to do everything and anchor it down the right way. So and there, you know, there's a lot of wires. Uh, amazingly, in such a small trailer, a lot of wires going kind of everywhere. Well, I, I've got more electricity than anybody else, so <laughs> I, I know that for. A f I have 16 outlets, I think, uh, and I, I use them. I love them. Great. So here's a further on down the line. We got right. the production line going. Here's a, here's a, this is our new uh, standard laminate. It's kind of a multi meal color. Yeah. And then uh, here's another uh, retro uh, laminate, which is more of the red. Okay. And this is uh, the ground fault outlet. Right. So uh, the rest of the trailer is protected by the ground fault, right? All the all the 110 circuits are uh, ground fault. This everything is downstream from here. What capacity power a standard trailer like mine? How many amps can I draw out of that trailer? Uh, well, this the the 110 uh, is um, 20 amp. Uh, 20 amp ground fault. Yeah. So anything over that would probably blow the, the GFI. Okay, 20 amps is uh, that's plenty. I only use a uh, six amp max uh, on mine. I and I think that. we did some calculation on the on the. 12 volt. You did some calculation about how many amps you might you might draw at one time. Everything on how many six amps, amps. Did you have, and I, I don't know what that six means. amps. Yeah, okay. that's the max. That's everything. Everything charging the fans on. I have an external another fan. That's not very much. Not much at all. You know no, the uh, um, the refrigerator is only going to draw about one amp. Uh, the, uh, I, think the it, I think there's a surge of about three or something when you first turn it on, and it's and it's working to get it up to up to. Um, uh, cool, uh, the cool level that you want, but then it kind of drops down to this very trickle, a very much of a trickle chart. Quite amazing, yeah. I mean, I, I never would have thought you could get a three amp uh, refrigerator. So, so these are just about ready to set set, set on top of our um, frames. Okay. 
and uh, then they're bolted down. Mm -hmm. Then uh, when we get the sides in, we can put the sides on, and it, it, that's the season that we call that the season of um, of uh, seduction, <laughs> because it feels like we're getting it done so quickly. It's like you know, we put the sides on, we put it, it, it becomes a trailer then. Mm -hmm. And so we feel like calling calling the customer and saying, you can it's come there. pick it up on Friday. You know? <laughs> Jeff teased me, kept sending me photographs of the trailer in production. I was like, okay, okay, which was great because I wanted a few things tweaked and tuned. And he was able to get it right there while he was working on it, which was really a wonderful thing. So that, that, that worked out really but, good. But, but after the season of seduction is the season of minutia, which I was talking about, uh -huh. which is an almost infinite number of things little tasks that have to be done to finally finish the trailer. Do most of your customers go with what you recommend or do they all have, like me, about 8,000 ideas they want to discuss every day with you? Well, I think the trailer is becoming, um, getting to the point where we have kind of already thought of all those things that the customer might want. Uh -huh. Sometimes they'll you know, they'll think, oh, I want a full-size spare, or yeah. I, want a, I want two full-size spares, yeah. or I want a different battery. Well, we. We're getting to the point where we're discouraging kind of reinventing the wheel that we've taken a lot of time to kind of work out. Yeah. This trailer works best with these features. I have to say that all the ideas I had went right out the window once I got the trailer that the way it came, mm -hmm. and the only thing I really needed was the extra electricity in my case, but the way it came, it worked out just perfect and there was no issues with it. And all the other stuff, I, I went through an old email and I looked all the crap I was bugging you about. Didn't need any of it, you know. It's it's just fine, just the way it is. So uh, you must get a lot of phone time uh, with people uh, like me. So yeah, but, sometimes, uh, sometimes it's a big purchase, you know. I mean, it's uh, for me, it's a big purchase, you know. Uh, next to a car, this was it, you know. Well, that's you know the thing is, is that we want to be co-creators. We want to try to um, steer the customer towards decisions they can make that um, don't complicate the construction of the trailer. Mm -hmm. But things like the laminate that you choose, the, the fabric for the uh, bat wings, the color of the laminate uh, of the aluminum on the outside, um, hopefully at some point we'll be offering slip covers. The pontoons? Mm -hmm. uh, you did get my yeah, request yeah, for pontoons. we're going to be putting pontoons on. <laughs> so, uh, okay, great. As you can use it as a houseboat <laughs> to go down the Mississippi. Yeah, great, great. Okay, good, good. That's all. All right, let me take a break here. A uh, couple, couple uh, things we've done to um, simplify production is to uh, create a hole for the uh, a battery bin. And this battery yeah, bin is... Yeah, below the floor. In, Mine was above the floor, right. so I'm probably going to... Yeah, it took, it took, room, took a, a precious room in your storage area. Yeah. So because it's an AGM battery and it doesn't off-gas, we can, we can put it, in, uh, sink it into the floor there. Excellent. And uh, it's sized for the larger battery or the smaller battery. So in, in, in here, I don't know if you can see it, but there's yes. a hole which is for the ventilation, the vent uh, port that goes, uh, the air conditioner uses to send out the hot air. Okay. And uh, if you don't get an air conditioner, well, we cover that with a, a piece of, uh, of ABS plastic mm -hmm. so that it's, it's there if you say you wanted to, needed one. So you can or, drop in an air conditioner later? Yeah. All the ducting is in for it? Or most of it's all, all cut out? Just, no, just we have to put the ducting in and, and we have to do quite a bit, but at least that hole is there. Yeah. That okay. would be the hardest thing to do uh, retroactively. Okay. Yeah. So interesting. That's, that's good. So you can retrofit a lot. I mean, I'm back here. I'm going to get a few changes and you're able to retrofit things to it. So that's a, that's a nice, uh, a nice uh, feature. If you wanted to add a heater, could you add a heater later also? Uh, yeah, you can. Cool. I mean, that's the wrong word. But. That's actually a little easier than, um, than the air conditioner. But you can actually have it. The heater fits down in this space below the air conditioner. Uh -huh. uh, so it's very uh, compact. Very nice. About what percentage of your customers get air conditioning? Probably around, um, it's getting to be about 60%. 60%. And how about heating? That's starting to get up there too. More, probably about 40, 40% maybe. Very nice. Um, boy, they really gleam. <laughs>